Hi everyone, this is Ajay. In this video, we are going to see how to in, uh, use Tivasi Launchpad with Kale Vision. Uh, Tivasi uh, Launchpad is from Texas Instrument and Texas Instrument uh, has officially provided uh, Code Composer Studio uh, software and uh, here we, uh, some might be very comfortable with Kale Vision. Uh, so I am going to tell you how to write uh, code and if you upload the code using um, upload the code to Tivasi Launchpad using Kale Vision. And that is what we are going to see in this video. So here we have our Kale uh, ID. Uh, we will have to uh, we will have to first uh, select a packet installer. In packet installer, uh, we have many. Uh, in this video, you can see we have devices, boards, and then we have uh, packs and examples. And uh, see to that you are uh, you are connected to internet. Here um, it shows offline and online. And you will have the de uh, devices listed in the device tab, and you have many manufacturer under which we'll have devices. And here we will have to choose a uh, Texas instrument. That is, we'll have to expand this. And here we are going to use Tivasi, and under Tivasi we are going to use uh, TM4C123X uh, series. And we can directly type the chip name that is TM4C123GH. 6 pm now uh, uh, we can uh, select this and uh, when we select you can see here it shows the device is up to date and uh, if you select and if you are don't have this device uh, um, uh, installed in your um, uh, key along with key you will have to install it uh, see to that uh, you are connected to internet and then you can install and uh, now after uh, uh, installing yeah, you can uh, just close this window and then uh, you, you can click projects and uh, new vision project this is the usual procedure, procedure to create a tail vision project and here um, you can uh, select um, a new folder I'm just creating it in under desktop uh, there is TRC test and uh, Here, yeah, I'm going to create a, a file, a, a project that is board test. And after that, you can uh, see here you will you will have the manufacturers or the device listed here under Texas Instrument. Uh, you have to select the TM four C one two three series. And uh, again, you can see here uh, if you have searched uh, tab where you can enter the see uh, uh, the specific chip that is 6 pm here yeah. so once it is done then you can select it and click ok and here you will have a runtime environment in which you will have to select a CMSAS and then click uh, select uh, check this score and then you will have to select device and click startup so these uh, checkbox has to be checked and then you'll have to click OK and finally you'll have to expand and then uh, you'll have to add a file to the source group that is add new item and select this C file and this is going to be LED test and now you can see, expand this source folder and you can see uh, LED test file has been created and it is here and uh, after this you can just click on build and you can expand this and you can see uh, there are certain files created and you have tm4c123.h uh, or you can specifically use tm4c123gh6pm.h uh, so we have standard in dot h and tm uh, 4c123 dot h these two files can be included here uh, as a header file and then you can start writing the code um, so i have uh, the code already in a notepad i'm going to copy that and i will explain you here you can see two header files have been included one is standard uh, 
uh, standard in dot h and then you have tm4c one uh, one two three dot h and that is device header after that you have a function prototype which is to generate a delay simple delay to flash LED and then uh, the function will generate uh, 1 millisecond this is for 1 millisecond that is uh, 7900 close to 1 millisecond count um, and you will have to pass a time value that is uh, passed as an argument to this function um, uh, you can multiply that particular value with 1 millisecond so this is for 80 megahertz uh, uh, clock and after that you have int main where uh, we have system control and RCC register in this RCC register this is uh, going to give you the clock selection and the dividers clock dividers all those selections and if you want to know about this registers you can uh, see my uh, uh, video on the code composer studio register level programming use in TWC launchpad and um, that is displayed here I will also provide uh, the uh, link in the video description and you you can get this value and you yeah, there i have explained how to uh, uh, look into the data sheet and uh, s select the register value and uh, from that i have uh, taken this value and this is uh, for, for a configuration for uh, 50 megahertz and then you have uh, rcgc gpio which is to uh, just uh, s s set the enable the clock for gpios and this particular value is for uh, selecting the clock for gpio f that is uh, uh, port f and then we are uh, because in launchpad uh, pf0 pf1 uh, pf1 pf2 pf3 uh, is connected to a red blue green leds and then you will have to select the direction and i have selected 0x02 in order to uh, make pf1 as output and then uh, digital enable which is to uh, make it digital function uh, instead of analog we will have to uh, make it one to make it uh, digital and uh, that is the reason we have uh, enabled the, uh, given this value that is 0x02 and 0x02 for both and then after that uh, we have data register for that these are all uh, pointer to structures so we have uh, data register and data register we are enabling uh, pf uh, we are writing high to pf1 and then uh, we are calling the function to generate a delay and again switching off um, the led that is the red, uh, red led is switched off and then delay is generated so once it is done you can write this code and then after that you will have to build uh, this as usual and you can see there are no error, errors and warnings and then uh, we will have so here in options for target you will have to uh, select uh, debug and uh, see to that your device is connected to your PC and you have your stellarist uh, debug in, uh, interface that is to be installed so here we have stellarist ICD I, we will have to install this driver for TWRC um, and you can get the same from Texas Instrument website and then um, we will have to click settings and you can see here uh, we have uh, uh, Stellar USB ICD and serial number enabled here and then we will have to click OK once this is done you can um, click OK and then you have uh, upload uh, you can click on upload and you can see we have uh, programming done and verification OK and now you can click on uh, reset button as shown and you will get this LED flashing so this is how you will have to get started with uh, Kale and Tivasi and further you can write uh, um, more ports using Kale because if you are comfortable with Kale you can start with uh, Kale Vision and Tivasi Launchpad so this is what I wanted to tell you in this video We'll meet in another video. Thank you. Thanks a lot.